What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gab, and welcome to a little tutorial on how to use the uh, Pokemon editing app, I guess, uh, called PK Hex. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how I managed to get Sweet Scent onto my Torchic, a move that it normally cannot learn, uh, in one of our recent playthroughs, our Glowing Garnet, uh, our Shiny Lock, which plugs, link to the playlist will be down below. Um, so I figured, you know, instead of just, you know, replying to a bunch of comments on YouTube, I figured I might as well make a tutorial. Why not? So, step one, get on whatever web browser you use. I happen to use uh, Firefox. Just search PK Hex, just like that. First thing that comes up should be uh, something from Project Pokemon, right there. Uh, click on the first link. Uh, and PK Hex is made by a guy that goes by Kefotix. He's a gem real treasure to have in the community and all you need to do is just click download this file i'm not going to do it because i already have it but um i don't really think it matters because I, I actually just downloaded the new update today or like the most recent update um but i just did the top one and it worked well for me so yeah just go ahead and click that and unzip the file uh once you get it and then once you get it on your desktop uh we'll pick up in just a sec so once you get pk hex downloaded and unzipped onto your desktop it'll look something like this um, now there will be a file that goes with it, which I'll show you quickly. If my file will open up. There we go. So it'll look like this. It'll say pkhex.core.dll. Just keep this in the same folder as pkhex. What I do is I um, just like keep it and then make a shortcut to the desktop, which you'll see has this little arrow right here. That means it's a shortcut, if you didn't know. But we have pkhex right here. So all I gotta do is open it up and it'll look like this. So now what do you do? So the example that I'm gonna give is uh, doing this from Citra because that's you know the emulator that I'm playing on in Glowing Garnet and that's what a lot of people seem to be asking about. So everything is gonna be in Citra but everything should be about the same for pretty much any kind of Pokemon game, especially if you're emulating it. All right, so step one is you're gonna wanna open up Citra. Um, which is, I think it's the only 3DS emulator that's actually like functioning and working. So what you're going to want to do is this will work with any game. You just right click and go to open saved at a location. That'll open up this folder that has the main file in it. This main is your saved data. This has all your Pokemon in your boxes, how far you are in the game, what items you have in the game. So this works for adding items and things like that too. So what you're going to want to do is just drag this into PK Hacks. And this right here shows everything in your game. So these are all the Pokemon that I have in my box. At least, you know, that box, I think that's what, box eight? Yeah. So we go to box one, everything in my box one. We can click on the uh, party slash battle box tab and that takes you to my party. So now, you know, and you can view everything from IVs, EVs, uh, where you caught it, things like that. So if we want to edit this Scyther right here, we go to right click and we go view. And that takes it and put all of its information in these tabs. So main right here, you can change Scyther to a Cedra or a Sea King or whatever Pokemon you wanted. Um, you can change its nickname, its EXP, its level, its nature, held item, anything you want is from this tab. Anything that is really just easily viewable, you can change on this tab. The met tab, can change what game you caught it in, uh, where you caught it, what kind of ball you caught it in, uh, what level you met it. This is some just this page is mostly used for legality things. So it's like, you know, this has the exclamation point because you can't normally catch a scyther in Lush Jungle at that level. So if you're trying to keep things legal, Pika Hex is also great for that because it will have a check mark here instead of an exclamation point. So if you're trying to do this for you know, a Pokemon to use online, I don't recommend. I always recommend, you know, using legal means because this is not legal. Um, but this will tell you if your Pokemon will appear legal or not. So stats, you know, you can change the IVs, the EVs. It even tells you what kind of hidden power it will have. Um, right here, you can also change what attacks it has. This is this also can make it illegal, which is why uh, it has the exclamation point next to fake out because every other move, Scyther can normally learn. But fake out it cannot so it flags that as being illegal and then ot 
would just be all of your character information. So your trainer name, your trainer ID. I don't know what S I don't know what SID is. Don't mess with it though. I've been told not to mess with it. You can change its markings, you can change its ribbons, medals, whatever. So that if you when you're all done editing your Pokemon, you right click where you want to put it and just click set. So for instance, if I wanted to make this Tyrantrum the exact same as my Scyther, I would just right click the Tyrantrum and click set and it's now a Scyther. That's pretty much, that's how you edit Pokemon. So, for how I did it with Torchic, all I did was say this Scyther is my Torchic. I just right clicked and went to View, went to Attacks, and then it, it even has a nice thing up here where the moves in green are all legal for it to know, and anything else is illegal. So, if I wanted to add Sweet Scent, let's go to Sweet Scent, and Set. Now, if you wanted to change how many items and things you have, you go just right down here to Items. Uh, following items have been removed from the pouch, the mega ring. Makes sense. So, that was just something from the Let's Play. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, right now, you can, we're in the medicine bag. You can give yourself 99 rare candies right here. So, we only have one, but we could give myself, you know, change that right there. Just put 999 and click save. When you go into the game, you'll have 999 rare candies. Or, if you just wanted to give all, you just click... This is the number that, that it will give you. Just click give all and uh, all. And it'll give you 995 or whatever count you put right here. It'll give you all of them. And, you know, I don't recommend doing this with, especially in Gen 7, with Z crystals or key items because it can mess up some progress things, some, you know, um, coding things. So I wouldn't recommend doing it with that. But TMs, berries, anything else, go nuts, honestly. So let's click cancel because I don't want to mess up any of that. And that's basically it. Those are the very basics to PK Hex. If you want to, you know, play around with it a little bit more and you have any questions, feel free to let, let me know down below. All right, so it's actually really quickly. I had to make a quick edit because it's the next day and I realized I forgot to tell you how to save, how to save all your changes. So all you do is just go to file, go to export SAV, export main, It'll open up this file, just click save. It'll ask if you want to replace it, which obviously you do. And then don't worry about what any of that says. It's just like it saved it to that place. And then you're all set. So, sorry, quick little cut, might be. Um, I will say it does get a little trickier when you're trying to hack a game. Because um, I will take you through quickly how to do that as well. So we'll just close this because I don't want to save that. So if you go to where your PK hex is, not the shortcut, but the, where your actual .exe file is. You now, if you remember, I had it as PK hex at the beginning. So we change the E to an A, and then just open it up. All right, so this is how you really hack Pokemon. So say, let's, you know, open up, you know, let's open up our Glowing Garnet save data, why not? So this will be our data from our current Let's Play. Throw that in there. And because we now have the ability, spoilers, I'm, I'm pretty bulk recorded, so spoilers, I have Rosalia later. Um, but say I wanted to add this Volcanion right here. If I wanted to make this Volcanion, normally Volcanion's only ability is Water Absorb, but if I wanted to give it Adaptability, and I wanted to give it 252 max EVs in every stat, this is how you do it. So I mentioned earlier that you could add 252 in every EVs. That actually turned out to be a mistake. I tried it and it didn't work. There might be a way around that, but if there is, I'm not aware of it. So basically all PK hacks does is let you change the ability. That's all I've discovered. And so for things like Hackmons, that works. You can have a lot of fun with it, but like I said, if you are not if you're not using this on Citra, or a game that you know will never like be connected to the internet, go nuts. But if if you are using it on like an actual console, be very very careful. Um, I actually ended up back in yeah back in Sun and Moon, not Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Uh, back in Sun and Moon, I actually ended up getting banned because I misgen something. So they do Nintendo's very liberal with banning things.
So just throwing that warning out there. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned something. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, and I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Twitch at CoolTrainerGav. Check out our second channel uh, focused mainly on Pokemon science and Pokemon theories called Palette University. And until next time, smile you later. Thank you.